guys, welcome back. Today I will be sharing a few Dollar Tree DIYs. We are making some 4th of July props for my sweet baby girl's photo shoot, but all of these items could definitely be used as home decor as well. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and share some of the items that we'll be using for all of our little DIY photo props and just show you how you can use things from around the house as well. So right here, this is an empty gift wrap uh, paper roll and my mom cut it down to size. We also have some empty toilet paper rolls here. We have some cardstock and some scrapbook paper that we had on hand. A lot of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree as well. Like this little garland here is from the Dollar Tree. Some twine. These little uh, rods here are from the Dollar Tree. Paper shred from the Dollar Tree. These little um, these little balloon holders. I have a blue and a red. Those are from the Dollar Tree. Let's see. We have some little wooden stars. These are from Hobby Lobby. I have some tissue paper in red and white. And I got this on Christmas clearance last year. Yes, ma'am. See, we have a little canvas here that we can reuse, some straws. These little picks here are from Hobby Lobby and they were 99 cents and then they were on sale. But you could, you know, literally clip these off and use them. You definitely don't need these. Um, we have some paint that we had on hand. They are a matte finish from Michaels, but we've had these. This little chalkboard paint is from the Dollar Tree. This little garland here I've had for years that I got on clearance at either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. My mom made these little stars here out of little pieces of wood. We have a little foam block from the Dollar Tree. We'll be using some leftover Christmas ornaments. We have all of our paint brushes and some extra supplies here like little sponge brushes if we need it, little painter's tape, ribbon. So here is just a little overview of all of the products that we'll be using. It does look like a little bit of a mess, but that's what a crafting session looks like. So here are a few more items that we will be using from around the house to make some DIY props. And it's just a little can of grits, this little Coca-Cola straw holder, and this empty can of old fashioned oats. So let's get started. Okay, the first DIY we are going to share today are these DIY decorative firecrackers. So my mom and my sister are helping me make all of these DIYs. So let's get started. My mom's just taking this garland from the Dollar Tree and she is just clipping a few pieces off. And this is what is going to appear to be the fuse. So what we did here was we took that straw can and we wrapped it in red tissue paper. We left a little piece up here. You're just going to stuff the little fuse in the center. She's going to add some leftover ribbon we have from Valentine's Day around the can to just make it look a little bit more festive. She's gonna take some of these little glue dots from the Dollar Tree to attach the ribbon. Okay, my mom's gonna go ahead and add some more ribbon to the bottom of the can. And I went ahead and cut out some stars on my silhouette machine. I cut out some stars in white cardstock as well as in navy blue cardstock. And we're gonna go ahead and add some white stars to the can as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take more of the Dollar Tree glue dots and put them on the white stars so we can attach them to the can. Alrighty, for the big oat can firework, we are gonna use this little bunting that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. You get one for a dollar and we are going to take this and wrap it around our oat can. Okay, so we went ahead and cut the lip, the top lip off of the bunting. My mom ironed it up to get the wrinkles out and now she is just going to wrap it around the oat can and glue it down with some glue dots.
Okay, I went ahead and added some stars to this white firecracker. It just needed a little something extra. And now mom is adding some white paint polka dots to the stars. And it is looking so cute. Okay guys, the next little DIY we have here are some little like DIY smoke bombs. So I showed y'all that we had those red ornaments that were left over from Christmas. My sister went ahead and painted them and then now me and my mom are gonna go ahead and attach some twine to them to make them look like little smoke bombs. <laughs> so here is the little final product for the smoke bombs or the dynamite. This is going to look super cute on the fireworks stand. Alrighty, moving on to the next DIY. I am going to share with you how we are going to take this empty gift wrap roll and turn it into a little decorative firecracker. The first step is to take your big gift wrap roll and cut it into the different sizes that you would like your firecrackers to be. So we just cut them into different sizes and then I took some scrapbooking paper and wrapped it, glued it down, and this is what it looks like. Okay, the next step is you're going to just take some cardstock or some printer paper. This is just some red printer paper. You're going to cut it out into a circle, and then I cut a slit. Okay, let my mom show it. It's hard to do it with one hand. Then you're going to take the circle and make a little funnel, like so, and then glue it to the top of your firecracker. So here is what the firework looks with the little funnel topper attached. Now I took a little paper straw. I added some twine. Then I cut some pieces off this balloon holder. I went ahead and stuffed some tissue paper inside the firecracker. And now I'm going to take some hot glue and attach this little straw. The next little DIY is going to be a DIY firework stand. This would be super cute for a front porch. You could sub out some of the materials. Maxi, back away, sir. So I ordered this little crate online at Walmart. They also sell crates like this at Michael's. And these little uh, picks right here are from Michael's. And this is a little foam board from the Dollar Tree that I cut down to size. And I went ahead and cut out Olivia's fireworks stand on my silhouette. So these are all the materials that you're going to need. If you wanted this to last longer and set it up on your front porch, you could sub this out for a piece of wood and just paint on it. But this is going to be just a little photo prop for my sweet girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my husband to nail the wood picks to the little crate and then I will be attaching the foam board with hot glue.
already I went ahead and attached the little fireworks sign I went ahead and added some blue polka dots and some little fireworks to it and down here at the bottom of the crate I added this little Dollar Tree banner with the stars and I think it just added that perfect little touch that it needed Alrighty, that is a wrap for today's video I hope y'all enjoyed checking out these little Dollar Tree DIYs using things from around the house things that I had in my craft supplies with a mixture of new stuff from the Dollar Tree if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are not already subscribed don't forget to hit that notification bell because I will be using a lot of these DIYs in an upcoming little photo shoot for my sweet baby girl and you definitely don't want to miss out on that don't forget to follow me on Instagram Twitter and snapchat and I'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>